Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, the movie lover here. 2016 is almost over. So guys, um, yes, why not top 5 or top 10 favorite video games of 2016 list instead of you know, just 3? Because I only played 3 uh, games that came out this year. And I love all 3 of these games. That, since they're the only 3 on my list, for the best uh, games of the year. Uh, but yeah, but you know, three is enough. You know, I don't want to go, you know, pretty much. You know how new games are, newer games are expensive as fuck. Sometimes, uh, you know, I just, sometimes I can wait. I can, I, I can wait. I, I'm, I'm not in any rush to get them. But sometimes I just really want to, I was just waiting a long time for this game. So pretty much. Welcome to my three favorite video games of 2016. I know it might not be much, but I was going to play Battlefield 1 and I was going to play the new Ratchet and Clank game for those two games were supposed to be good. And there was a lot of other games, uh, uh what else, Dead Rising 4, but you know, you know, Christmas is coming up soon. And pretty much my mom can't spend a lot of money, or my dad, so pretty much... Yeah. No, I did not put him on my Christmas list. I'll probably just run him, but anyways, you know. Anyways, let's get started. Alright guys, first things off, for my number 3 spot, I got Doom. That's right, the remake. I guess you could say it's a remake, slash sequel to the original Doom. I had a blast playing this game. While the first Doom will always remain a classic and one of the best PC games of all time, it's this. This is the Doom game fans have been asking for. Tons more blood, tons more violence, and tons more bosses and much more entertainment. This was one of the bloodiest games I've ever played and this absolutely brings to a horror level from scares to humor, well, not really humor since the main character doesn't talk much or doesn't talk at all. This game was definitely an, an absolute engaging experience for me. Some people say that the artwork to this game, right here, this artwork, some people say that it sucks. Well, don't worry, guys. Look. Reversible slipcover. Now, does that look kick-ass or what? Yeah, that's what I thought. Naughty Dog has brought us some awesome video games. In my number two spot, brought this franchise to... I don't even know what to say. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End is my second favorite video game of the year. The first three games, fantastic. Fantastic. But this, guys, this is worth the $60. And I thought it was the best in the series. And one of the best... One, it's hard to explain. This is probably my favorite uh, game to play on the PS4. What about The Last of Us? Well, that was originally made for PS3. But, you know, I still love that game. Uh, and I'll never stop, you know, loving that game. But anyways, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End was epic, you guys. This was definitely one of Naughty Dog's best games since The Last of Us. While it's nowhere near as good as that game, it definitely is the best in the series, in my opinion. The game absolutely looks incredible, from the graphics to the AI, and yeah guys, I even liked it more than Uncharted 2. And this is the game that I hope someday, just someday, will be remembered as one of the best uh, fourth installments in video games in a long time, probably since Resident Evil 4. It was that damn good. And believe it or not, you guys, I actually, I actually rented this game uh, 
before I I rented it from Redbox. I wanted to beat the game before I reviewed it. You know, I wasn't too sure because I never played the Uncharted games until I played uh, this game. You know, and uh, so damn good. I I, I, I it was definitely worth buying the sixty dollars. I also have the third the other three games for uh, PS4. You know, Nathan Drake collection. And guys, I might even play this game again soon. Who knows? I might will. Alright guys. My number one spot. I can't believe I like this more than Uncharted 4. This game perfected the art of third person games, in my opinion. And definitely one of the best fourth installments in video games I've seen. And to be honest, I like this more than Resident Evil 4. I said it. Just a little bit more. And that is Gears of War 4. Gears of War 4 is my favorite game of 2016. Not only that, it's also one of my favorite video games of all time. I was excited for this game ever since I played the first three. The first three were amazing, you guys, but this just took it to a whole new level. I mean, forget about the, you know, the, you know, just, uh, you know, forget about how much money it is, because you know what? It, it is worth it. And I could play this game whenever. This is a new era for third-person games. Even though you don't play as Marcus Phoenix, but hey, he's in the game. He's in the game for longer than you think, you guys. This definitely was a new era for third person. At first, I was a little bit worried, but when I was actually playing the game, I had no problems with it. The game absolutely looks incredible, and I gotta say, this is probably my favorite Xbox game of all time. Yes, guys, this is my favorite Xbox game of all time even though it came out this year. And it's for the Xbox One. And guys, this absolutely blew me away. And I could not believe it when I saw this scene when, my, when Marcus Phoenix came back. To be honest, you guys, I think I was a little bit too hyped for this. Why? On my birthday, I pre-ordered it. And I wasn't too sure but I got a lot of stuff for this. I got a field guide. Yeah. A shit ton of gear packs. For free. And a few weeks ago, at FYE, I got a fucking poster of it. What does that tell you right there? So guys, that concludes my three favorite video games of 2016. What are some of your favorite video games of 2016? What games have you played this year? And I mean of 2016. Tell me in the comment section below. Oh yeah, and by the way, sorry about the dialogue. It's just that my computer isn't working. You know, uh, I am probably going to get it back tomorrow. So uh, yeah, don't worry. This crappy dialogue will be gone soon. It will be Back to the normal dialogue that I had before. But yeah, anyways, that is it for this video, and I will see you guys later. Word out.